Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. My name is Rob. Before I get started, y'all listen for this. It's one of my favorite sounds. Oh yeah. Okay. We left off, we ran into the village chief. <clears throat> and he canceled Leon's mighty roundhouse kick, so let's see what became of that. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. All right. So, you're like supposed to go forward and everything. But I'm pretty sure if you go back into this room, you get a little extra cutscene. <laughs> I don't think this is a quick time event. That is just hilarious. The whole, like, everything about it. Like, he just got through telling Leon, like, you know, oh, I'm gonna let you live, but don't piss me off. And then you walk back into this room and he's, like, super pissed off. Like, you walked in on him during private time or something. Woman in red. Somehow so familiar. It's Lady in Red. That's the song, anyway. But anyway, and then, you know, he just knocks Leon on the ground and just, just like, stomping his sternum into his spine. And then, the character, it's Ada Wong, she shows up and shoots him a couple of times in the back, and he turns around and is like, Oh, I I've been just been shot. I'm going to charge straight for the source and dive out the window after it. And totally miss. <laughs> this must be a painting of that church. I hope Ashley's still okay. Yep, yeah, it, it must be. Ooh, wine. I want some. Looks like the people in this house eat like normal humans. Yeah, there's no vat of, like, cream of piss like there is on the farm. They just left an egg in the oven. That's that's pretty cool. So why not? Uh, it's a typewriter. Can save it. I'll do that in a minute. Just because if I die, I don't know if I'll have to repeat the cutscene or what. So, go ahead and save it. Oh, an incendiary grenade. Those are nice. I just, I want to let this music play for just a little bit. It's such a simple little uh, series of notes. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a song or not, but 
It's, it's so good. Hmm. I could go out the door. Oh wait, I can't jump out that window. Well, never mind then. Game. Ooh. I remember this part, and I see you over there. I totally see you. Chainsaw, dude. I have a grenade and an incendiary grenade, and I have a a large fish. If I get hurt, I'm gonna eat that fish, and it's gonna make it all better. Nope. Let's get a little closer here. Ah. No. Reload. I don't want a haircut that goes down to the base of my throat. No, thank you. Okay, he's dead now. No, 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 he's not. Where'd that money come from? Man? I guess it was the other guy. That was Grandpa. Dropped that. Shotgun to the face. Dude, could you die? How many blasts to the face with a shotgun do you need before you've had enough? It's like he thinks he's freaking Jason or something. Hey! No! Don't come at me with a knife, Aunt Trudy. There. Solve that problem. With violence. Nice. Got a red herb. How do I... I keep... Ugh. Keep getting my buttons mess mixed up here. Okay. Uh, there we go. Un forastero. Hmm. I kind of want to save my grenade, but then again, I kind of want to use it. Nice. I need more ammo. Thankfully, ammo is not terribly scarce in Resident Evil 4. You've unbarred the door. It's always talking about pilasos. But I don't know what a pilasos is. I need to take a Spanish lesson from Peggy Hill. <laughs> His head just popped. Like a big nasty zit. Ah! No! Ah! Straight up body slam me. No! Get kicked in the face. Let me see here. Uh, I guess I'll eat this huge fish that's taken up like all my inventory space. Get out of here. Out. Nope. Get your hands off me. Hey. That was kind of cool. It was accidental, but it was cool. No. Alright. I've got one shotgun shell. With, like, all y'all's names on it. Yay! Sorry, I know I'd be in my menus a lot. 
Money! It's a something. Catchy Pink Floyd song. I can't remember the words. Yay! I, I I got them. Oh, I never did this. Flash grenade. Those are really useful. Whoa! Now, give you a nice kick to the butt. Flash grenades are really useful later in the game when uh the viruses like virus monsters start popping out of uh, the villagers heads when you decapitate them like you throw a a uh, flashbang grenade and it just automatically kills the virus they don't like bright lights apparently oh I see that dude up there on the roof on the roof uh, let me see him look at him standing there like he thinks he's so smart like <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna wait for him to run under me, and I'm gonna jump down on him. <laughs> it's a perfect plan. You know what? <laughs> uh, this game is so silly. It's so silly without trying to be. That's what's wonderful about it. Chicken. Hmm. I'm trying to think. That's right, I have a, uh, I've got a key now. Don't I? And I can just go through this door. Right? No? Okay, yeah, you have to, instead of automatically opening, you have to do this. Whatever. Oh, this music too. Let's let's listen. It's just ambient like organ music I guess I don't know I, I, it's weird and I like it which describes a lot of the things I like I bet if I search for this track on YouTube and like a like a 10 hour version of it exists and I just put it on for like when I sleep or something that would be awesome. I guess I'll save it. Okay. Hmm. And then the music just stops. That's sad. TMP ammo. I don't have a TMP. But I can sell it. You can, um... These lantern things, I remember, you can shoot those down. And they function almost like an incendiary grenade. Uh, how am I doing for ammo? Could be better. Could be worse. Let's just forge on ahead. And... Oh, I can climb back up if I do. Okay. Not that I would find anything if I did climb up there, but whatever. I can, I vaguely remember this part, and I want to say there's unfriendly dudes down here, maybe. I think I should be coming up on the sketchy merchant. Yeah, uh, speak of the devil. Got something that might interest you. 
always wish that he was a character in the uh good things on sales in the mercenaries mode any luck with the medallions i don't think i've actually shot that many of them what are you selling is that all stranger yep. is that all <laughs> thank you hmm sell this for uh, i'll buy it at a high price <laughs> well, aren't you thank a sweetie? You. Ah, I <laughs> thank you. You always wish that you could play as the sketchy merchant in a uh, the mercenaries mode, and like he would have, like if like if you, I don't know, like unlocked a certain score with every character that uh, you could play as him, and he had like all the, like the uber secret weapons, like the infinite launcher and the hand cannon and stuff like that, just you know for giggles and what are you boy other some such things i'm gonna go ahead and get the is that all? <laughs> case thank you there we go inventory space is nice to have and map that shows us valuable treasures in the vision is that you know what why not <laughs> i'll probably you. forget i have it and not even look at it but what are you boy so let's upgrade some stuff I don't know if I want to keep the handgun through this playthrough. I might switch to the Red 9 once I get it because that one's really good too. Yeah, probably. So I'm, I don't guess I'll upgrade the handgun all that much because I don't... Mm, I don't know. I will keep the shotgun for a little while, so it's probably worth upgrading it some. I'll upgrade the. Hmm. That's like gives it half a point more power, but I don't know how that translates. Whether that's actually really significant or not. Hmm. Yeah, it's so that its firepower barely upgrades at all. Speed goes up quite a bit, but it's already a pretty fast handgun. Reload speed, capacity. Uh, decisions, decisions. Okay. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Upgrade the firepower. Is that and the, re all, the reload speed. That will help. Thank you. Is and I'll that just, all, I'll just get all these. There we go. Thank you. And the rifle. I'm definitely gonna go with the semi-automatic rifle as soon as I find it. So I'm not gonna bother upgrading this one too much. And I don't quite have enough money to upgrade anything on the handgun either, so... What are you buying? Mmm... I can't buy anything else. Okay. No, that's good. You can kill him, and I think he'll still show up in another location. I don't want to kill him, though. I, I like him. I, I like the merchant. The nameless merchant. just shows up to sell weapons I would love to know his backstory like what is he about why is he here how did he get here how did he get armed to the teeth and why is he so willing to sell armaments to the gringo around here all right, we got a spooky church area. This immediately, like, this is just, like, Silent Hill 2 vibes. Like, for real. Big time. All right, there's some more medallions here. I wish, I kind of wish you could buy ammo. Well, I woke up the locals. Oh, only three. Really? They're really all I've gotten. That sucks. No. You you get on the ground now. Get on the ground and get slashed in the face. You deserve it. Oh now. You big old fat granny. Throwing things at me. There. Get shot in the face. And roundhouse kicked. 
a Walker Texas Ranger. I'm gonna uh. Cut your boobs off. <laughs> okay, that's a little messed up. Just just a touch. Some of my dark humor, some of my black humor is beginning to come through playing this game. Check. I've seen this insignia before. No crap, Leon. But maybe they're different depending on the grave. Hmm. Maybe they're different for all the graves. Yeah, I think that... I don't remember ever noticing that before, but it might have something to do with a puzzle later in this level. Uh, should I heal? I'm gonna eat an egg. He's good for you. Oh, nope, nope. He's got dynamite. I don't want to get blowed up. Oh, for goodness. Ha! Ah. I wasn't sure if I was going to get that. Don't trip. Yeah. Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler. I know there's a way to get Leon to do a suplex, but I cannot remember how to trigger it. I thought if you shot him in the kneecap and like took him down or something and then went to like do the prompt that he would do it, but he's doing like this other type of kick. Yeah. You see me slashing twice at these boxes, it's because I can't remember at what point in the game snakes begin to pop out of those. So I'm just trying to be prepared for that. Let's see. I think I just saw another medallion. Un forastero! Un forastero! What? I meant to mess around with some of the other controller schemes. To see if I liked them better than the default one, but I didn't do that before I loaded it up. That's okay. What am I doing? Serve ammo! There we go. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. It. So shaky. Ah. Dang it. There we go. Only wasted a bunch of bullets. It won't budge. It's gotta be locked from the other side. Gotta be. That's the only explanation. About this door. It won't open. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits here. Oh. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? <laughs> <laughs> There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Like, you can kick people through the air. Why don't you just kick the door until it breaks open? It, it seems plausible, given this game's mechanics. <laughs> well, what do I know? Okay, he, he has dynamite in his pocket. Oh, crap! I guess the game is designed to where that won't kill you in one hit. You need to stop that. There. Lay down and get blown up. Get down. Well, when he's holding it, I guess the fuse lasts forever. Yeah, of course. Okay, that was pretty funny looking. 
Hmm, what do we got here? Three family insignias of the dead ringers. It looks like the dial only turns clockwise in either three or four increments. Hmm. I can't remember. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea. I guess I need to look at the tombstones. So I don't ever remember realizing that the tombstones had different little shapes and stuff on them, but I guess they do. Okay, the thing that looks like an M. Uh, that looks like, uh, just the regular insignia. The Z thing. Yeah. And what else? Is that it? Oh, no. The V. Z-M-V. V-Z-M. Z-M-V. I have no idea. I don't know what it would stand for. <clears throat> Okay, start from there, one, two, three, we'll rotate three times for that one, we'll do four times for that one, then two, three, four, that'll be four times, two, three, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Four. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was just a treasure. It wasn't even any anything that I needed. No, I mean, I'll end up needing it, I guess. To sell. The marking on the stone indicates that it once was set in something. But what? Nevertheless, a rare gem. Hmm. Okay. I think that's one of the things, like, if you hold on to it, you'll eventually find, like, some type of, uh, like a crown or something that you can set it in to sell the whole thing for more, more uh, money. I think. Maybe. Hey, could you not? Think you're something with your infinite axes in your pocket. You, you, those are the most magical pants. And you have magical aim. There. Go jump in a lake and die. Ooh, that creepy. Foggy lakes. Yeah, that's another thing that reminds me of. Am I seriously out of handgun ammo? Oh. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Handgun ammo is like the one thing you never ever want to be without. There's a snake! And I totally missed it. You little shit. Oh well. Uh, I don't have anything to heal, heal myself with either. Closure of the church. 
Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Lewis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. What Lewis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has invented. <gasps> they got the COVID bat! At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl to ensure that the agent does not get to her. I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Yeah, lock the door. That'll keep him out. <laughs> Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. <laughs> it's the president's daughter. If <laughs> you, you, you don't think it... Anyway. Ah, this silly game. I just love it. Ugh. Man, do I want to use shotgun shells on these pendants? Ugh, I really don't. I don't really want to use rifle ammo on them either. Oof. You know what? It's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm gonna find some... Well, there you are. Where do you think you're going? Come here. Biting me in the chest. You stupid snake. What? Where'd he go? Where is he? Come here. There. Ooh. A gold chicken egg. Let's eat that. Yay. I'm all better. I ate the gold egg. It would have probably sold for pretty good, but I really needed to heal. Okay, that's eight. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing with this pistol that I get for breaking these uh, pendants. Because you, you can like get it for free if you get ten of these, and then just turn right back around and sell it for I don't know how many gold or whatever. Pesetas. Whee! Oh yeah? But That was lame. There. That made up for it. Alright. Almost out of rifle ammo. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. When you see crows clustered like that, I can totally use a flash grenade for this. You just throw, like, any kind of grenade at them. Ha! Ah! Look at that. They all drop a little bit of money. Looks like one of them... Another flash grenade. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, I remember this area. We're gonna be coming back to it... a bit later, to fight a boss. Got a spindle. See if he says anything about this. It looks like the gate's securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Foreshadowing. Yay, handgun ammo. Let's go ahead and load this bad boy. I never noticed this detail about it. When it's empty, the slide remains back on the pistol. That's kind of a neat little touch there. Never noticed that before. 
Hmm. Yay, more handgun ammo. Awesome. Am I supposed to go? Hmm, I have no idea. Did I ever get everything in this area? I believe so. Let me try going down here and see if this is what I'm thinking it is. Yeah, this is totally what I was thinking it was. There's that ambient organ music again. That's how you know you're in a safe place. And there's our boy. There he is. Ready to sell us some more everything. This is where his shop is actually set up. And you see all this ammo. But you can't actually buy ammo. Isn't that crazy? launchers everywhere got a selection of go yeah what are your boy is unfortunately I've only shot nine of them so I may not actually get the, what are the thing I want in? hmm man I'll leave it alone For now. Oh wait, I can sell you some stuff. What are you selling? Yeah, a couple of spells. Is spells. that all, stranger? Is that all? <laughs> I'm gonna hold you. on to the green cat's eye and see if I can uh, put it in something like a crown or a mask or something like that. Yeah, eventually we're going to end up circling back around to this spot. Alright, up we go again. More handgun ammo. That's great. shotgun shells too. I will take them. Oh, here's this. Heads up. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And I, I can actually remember what's at this part too. This bit again. Because this never, you know, this could never get old. The developer's like, we really need to break up the pace by having quick time events where you run from a giant boulder. I mean, where do they get these giant boulders from, anyway? Yeah, who knows. There's a shiny thing up there. A shiny thing. Let's shoot it with a gun. Spinel. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, this part. Yes, a fiesta. Of course. That's what the world needs. Let's see if he'll run for that tripwire. Come on. Ha! Ah! That's awesome. I'm gonna cut your butt until you die. There. Hmm. Yeah. Don't throw axes at me, Grandpa. I like that sound. It was like. 
That's his heave sound. When he's throwing something heavy, he goes... Huh. Up. Okay, then. Just, you know, chop me up through a wall. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to stop that. I totally don't think I'd hit that, but, you know, I'll take it. It didn't look like I'd actually hit it. I'll teach you. Let's see. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a snake in one of these. What the? Oh, I got... No, I cut the egg. Man, I would have eaten that. No, let me go. No. I don't want to hug. Do I have any items I can heal with? I don't. I, I have a plain herb. Eh, whatever. Okay. Line up all nice and pretty now. Ooh. More herb. Yay. and then it just starts again. Oh, Lord! A whole bunch of them. All the fellas just want to come bite my face off. <laughs> Triplets! Run for the tripwire. Ah, idiot. Starting to get a hang for the hang of the control scheme. Come here, snake. I know you have an egg in you. Come here. That, how's that not hitting? You. Mm, that's it. But, okay. I don't know what was going on back there. But somebody got blowed up. Come here. Stop running. That'll teach you. Give me that egg. Oh, another one. Give me your eggs. Dance for me. Dance. There we go. <laughs> Unloaded a whole magazine and... Well, whatever. 
is going to be all right. Oh, you think so, huh? the egg. There we go. He's just kind of slithering around like under the earth. Whatever. Screw you. Okay. I think there might be a typewriter here close by. I hope there is. Oh, nice. Alright, so next time I heal with that my total health a little bit. That'll be good. Okay. I'm already at this part. Ah, there we go. There's the typewriter. Okay. This actually seems like a pretty decent place to call it. So I'm going to save it here and we'll pick up next time with uh, the lost whatever it was. The big lake monster. We're going to fight that boss. So stay tuned. I'll see you soon with more Resident Evil 4. Y'all take care.